Okay guys, uh, Pete here, N6QW, demonstrating my uh, new transceiver. And uh, it's on 60 meters and uh, operates on five channels. Uh, there's channel 5 at 5.403.5. Uh, channel 4 at uh, 5.371.5. Uh, channel 3 at 5.357. Uh, channel 2 at 5346.5. And channel 1 at 5330.5. And a very nice uh, transceiver. I've really been enjoying operating. I've made about 15 or so contacts here just in a couple of days. And uh, hopefully um, I'm going to continue to use this uh, transceiver. We're making some refinements. Uh, the S-meter is not functional as yet uh, because of a sensing circuit and some things I'm having to do. But uh, we're probably a couple of days away from getting that to work. And I wanted to demonstrate uh, another capability here. You'll see I'm moving it to the channels. This is on channel 5. And uh, 3, 4, 5, and 1 seem to be the most active channels here out on the left coast. Again, this is Pete, N6QW. And uh, I'm going to put it on channel 2 and demonstrate uh, some of the functionality. First of all, I have a, what's called a MOX, uh, which is just switch. It'll put it on uh, transmit. And uh, that's the MOX control. And it's just a set of parallel contacts with a push to talk. And when I do that, now watch the, watch the display here. You'll see the word tune show up and over there on the power meter you're seeing at about a half power is I'm uh, uh, putting a pulse tone for about 10 seconds so I can tune the rig and get the lowest SWR. So that's a function that you don't see too often on um, other transceivers and this is uh, one of the innovations I've put into my code. It's a 988 uh, Hz uh, audio tone generated by the Arduino. So. Um, the uh, next functionality is on channel 3. Uh, eventually, uh, the, it's been authorized as of January 1, but not authorized here in the United States by the FCC, is channel 3 will be a tunable channel. So I'll, I can tune this uh, in 1 kilohertz steps, which is the default, all the way up to uh, 5.366 and down to 5.354. Which is the uh, which is the channel authorization, and it's intended to give you a few more single sideband channels uh, in that plus or minus uh, seven kilohertz. Uh, I've limited the tuning to five kilohertz because at the very end are CWN data bands, and right now this is all this is uh, single sideband only. So moving it to another channel resets it, and the nominal channel three is three uh, five point three five seven. So uh, kind of taking a tour here, looking up over the top of the rig, you can get a view of a uh, pretty simple circuit. Uh, uh, here is the uh, bi-directional circuit that I developed, two in, uh, 3904s in each leg. Uh, one on receive, it's the RF amplifier, receiver RF amplifier, transmit pre-driver. There's the, uh, back there is the uh, 2N2222 driving a 2N3866 right out of EMFRD. That's an IFR 510 with the big heat sink in the back. Oh, over here is the uh, mic amp, the single 2N3904 surface mount. Audio amp, 2N3904 driving an LM386. A 9 megahertz uh, crystal filter from the GQR Plea Club. And either side of that is a Plessy uh, 2N3904, 2N3906 uh, a bilateral amplifier. For the product detector balance modulator, we have an SBL1, and there's another SBL1. Uh, uh, that's the receive transmit mixer. There we have the um, uh, bandpass filter, which has been tuned up for 5 megahertz. And we got some TR switching in the back, and uh, there's an auxiliary uh, uh, control uh, for a linear amplifier. But right now, this is running in the 10 to 12 watt range. And uh, we find that that's quite adequate. Uh, we regularly talk to stations 400 miles away. So this is uh, Pete, N6QW. This is my latest 60-meter uh, rig. Uh, some of the other controls, the mic here. We got uh, a speaker in the back, but you can put headphones here. Audio amp. Uh, here's the encoder that only works on channel 3. It only works on channel 3. If you put it on the other channels, you'll notice that uh, nothing happens to the display. So that's a kind of an innovative feature is that you have channel functionality on the four of the channels and tunable one on channel three.
So again, this is Pete, N6QW. This is uh, my latest transceiver. I have but uh, one item to uh, uh, get working properly, and that uh, that is the uh, S-meter. And I uh, did a little work on that this morning, and that should be functional about a day or two. By the way, it is upper, upper and lower sideband selectable. You can see the LSB there and USB here, channel number there. Uh, the default tuning on channel 3 is 1 kilohertz. And uh, we really enjoyed putting this rig together. This was uh, all scratch built. This is not a bit X40. Scratch built by, by me, and originally it was on 40 meters, and I've since converted to a 60 meter rig. Quite an interesting band. So with that, I'll say my uh, seven threes, and thank you for riding along with the uh, with my latest video on the 60 meter rig from N6QW. It's a Diffex, something different than the Bidex. Seven threes.